Hi friends, welcome back to In My Nuggets. Um, I'm Rhea and uh, yeah, I mean, last video that I posted was a while ago, but it was about my language goals. So in keep with practicing that, uh, I decided to do my intro in Japanese. Um, so we're just gonna roll with that. Um, I'm not 100% confident in speaking in Japanese. Um, and I was also speaking to myself, a little weird. Um, a lot of things are wrong, things are whack, but you know, it's all part of the learning process and at least I'm practicing, it's better than not practicing. There we go. So we're just gonna roll with that. Enjoy! Hello! <laughs> <笑>え、ちょっとね。今日はちょっと日本語を練習欲しいんです。欲しい、したいの。ちょっと練習したいの。だからこのビデオのイントロでちょっと日本語を話します。はい、先はこのスクセージを切ます。<笑> <笑>全然この日本語の話の練習をしなくてちょっとちょっと下手ですね次はチーズ私は私の彼氏のお父さんがこのチーズを作った本当に面白いこのチーズの中にアプリカと<笑> パッとあとちょっとすいませんね本語の単語を知れないのオリブも、このチーズの中に入っていますこれはちょっと難しいね日本語の食べ物だけど練習はもっと練習してもっと上手になるになりますはいそれは私のプランですこのビデオは始めまし
sheer stockings. They are my favorite. I honestly highly recommend them, but again, had them for years and they have some holes in them. So got to yarn these up too. I was having a lovely time mending my things and watching Inventing Anna, but it was such a gorgeous, gorgeous sunny day with blue skies, which is a rarity in Scotland. So I was like, I need to go outside. Called my friend Viola and I was like, hey, do you want to go outside and just like chill in the sun in the park or something? And she was like, oh, but I'm getting ready and I'm getting a subway soon. So you want to just hop on over and chill at my house? And I was like, yes. So that's what I'm about to do. Once packed, I then set off on the perilous journey to Wales, which involves a large hill. Um, but then I made it, and it was good vibes. Um, enjoy watching us be slightly insane, but it's always a good time hanging with Viola, even if we don't really do anything. <laughs> but just fool around, so enjoy that. I don't know all the lyrics. I'm not doing well, I'm not. I'm not. Oh, present your subway order, the most important thing. Uh, spicy Italian toasted extra cheese, uh, pickle, onion, spinach, pepper, jalapeno. And then salt rate, and vinegar. Rate her subway order. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you dare. You stay away from my subway order. Oh. Um, then I continue to mend while well, Viola ate, you know, chatting, mending. It's, it's good vibes. Um, until I, I broke my needle. I was I was maybe a little bit too too intense about sewing. But yeah, you're pretty sad about that. That's why you always carry around spare needles. That's that's what you gotta do. Um, anyway, we were talking. I think we were talking about spirituality and how spiritual we think we are as people and our place in the world and all that kind of fun existential, existential, oh my goodness. Anyway, um, here's me done sewing all that together. Um, Velcro works, yay! Look at that, now I won't have to deal with Velcro not working. That's joyous. Now we're moving on to uh, these orange trousers, which I was actually wearing in the start of the video, I realized, but basically I love the fabric, but the fabric like with the seams and the overlocking don't really hold very well just because it's such like a, I don't know how to describe it, but it's quite like thick, um, thick threads that weave it together. Um, yeah, so that was just me sewing it together because it was like, it gets holes really easily, which is really annoying because I, I really like these trousers. Speaking of trousers that I really like, uh, this next pair that if you were watching the beginning, you would know I'm mending a little elastic hem at the bottom. These trousers, really like them. Um, I don't know if I'd really classify them as trousers, we just call them like elephant pants because it's like, it's it's a different genre of clothing. You know how like there's the basic genres of clothing, like there's t-shirts, long sleeve shirts and whatever. Anyway, I finished this men, but I need to continue my tangent, um, moving on to sewing the pocket. But you know, t-shirts, long sleeves, hoodies, like trousers, shorts, but then there's also like subcategories, like there's like tiny tops, dress tops, Elephant trousers. I guess like you could call it the same as like joggers, but like we don't really use joggers in like tropical climates. Um, I still don't own a pair of joggers properly, um, which maybe I should considering that I'm living in a colder climate now, but just elephant, elephant pants all the way. Anyway, mending, mending, you know, mending a pocket, chatting, um, getting a little boring. Let's go on an adventure. Let's go to the British Ice Climbing Championships. Sick. Look at this content. It's so fun. I was also there, just competing in the fun cup, but back to schedule mending! You know, something about darning is really relaxing. Don't- ow! <laughs> Maybe when I don't prick my finger. Um, but yeah, something about it is just really, really relaxing, and I don't know what it is. I guess it's just like repetitive motions, which is quite nice. Like, look at how fun that is. 
can't really see it that well, but I'm working on the toe bit now because this is like the underneath bit. There's the heel. The heel turned out pretty Gucci too. And it's just really nice. Um, yeah, so why buy new socks when you can keep the ones that you have and mend them and make them look quite funky? Yeah, I mean, they've lost me like a fair amount, but I don't know, I don't- I just don't have the heart to throw them away or anything, so I looked up how to fix it. I asked my mom actually, and she said just darn them. Um, and so that's what I'm doing. I don't know. I don't have the need to buy new socks, because these ones work, I guess. I guess I'll just keep wearing these until like they're like completely, completely unusable. Um, yeah. Fix your socks, guys. Especially ones that you love. Fix the socks you love. That is the moral for today. Fix the socks you love. Cause, you know, you wear these socks all the time. You wear socks almost every day. Almost. I guess. <laughs> Unless you're in like a nice warm toasty country, then I guess you can go like barefoot and, and slippers and things like I did when I was a kid. It's not the best darning job. I know that for a fact. Like, to be fair, I haven't actually- I literally looked up one YouTube tutorial on how to do this and that's how I'm doing it. I literally- I've never actually seen darn socks before, if I'm being honest. But I do recommend it. It's relaxing. It's not that hard to do. Um, you just need something like round to put in your sock or something. Um, I'm using literally like <laughs> a stress ball kind of thing. It's like a climbing training thing. Just do the repetitive motions and it's quite fun and it's a satisfying result and you get your socks! I don't know why I'm trying to sell this so hard, like, you can do what you want, but it's just... I'm vibing right now. Had a good dinner and now just darning some socks and I'm watching this film called Swing Kids. Um, not I'm not sure how I feel about it yet. It's a great time. Darning. <laughs> Until you're darning and darning late into the witch hour and it gets to 4 a.m. and you're still darning and darning and you just can't stop and you realize, you know, there's so much darning to do in this one single sock because you've ridden it so threadbare and then you just keep darning and darning and then you don't sleep and it's like a curse. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. See, when I said I just had a few socks to darn, which I'm having a great time, by the way. Look at how fun. Um, this is in progress. I did, I decided to do a little bit more of a thorough investigation to the rest of my socks. Um, and it is unfortunate to say that I have found not one, not two, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more pairs of socks that I need to darn um, and it's all in the heels and the toes the biggest the biggest patch that I'll need to do is uh, this huge hole in the heel um, for my favorite fish socks I love these socks like you can see the bottom there it's most of these don't actually they haven't like gone worn all the way through but like if you have a if you look upon them, you can see that they are like running threadbare. Like, let's take these spicy ones for example. Like, you can see in the bottom it's like running threadbare. So I do want to darn those up because I hate the feeling of my skin touching the ground when I'm wearing socks. It's just weird, it's just weird and I don't like it. All of these socks have to be darned. Have to be. Well, I want them to be. So, they will be. But I don't think I have... If, if I wait till I finish darning all of these socks to put this video together, this video will never come out because... Oh, it just takes... It takes a while. It's mainly because like I'm listening to like audiobooks while I darn these and I just get so engrossed and I take notes and things like that. It's like... Yeah. That is the unfortunate news. You can't watch me darn all of my socks. I doubt that you would want to as well. Uh, so... Anyway, I have to go into uni soon. You can see I'm wearing trousers with, oh, what's this? The Velcro that's being sewn on and works well. So that 
the pockets are actually useful, which I think is what we all like. We like useful pockets. Anyway. <laughs> uh, anyway, so she said, Why can I not speak today? So she said, I'm going to go to the video. i uh, uh, yeah, um, I'm going to hop over to uni. Um, currently reading Educated by Tara Westwood. Highly recommend. Read. It's good.